Hey everybody, it's DB from DB Collects. All right, so today we are opening five packs of probably the rarest, most expensive set you can get in the history of Magic. Fallen Empires. So, obviously I'm lying. Uh, Fallen Empires was not exactly the greatest set that you could have. Um, value wise it's definitely not it's going up but it's from like 94 I want to say let's see I want to say it would say on the back well, maybe it doesn't I believe it was from 94 um, nothing of like pure value in it but the cards themselves are awesome the artwork in this set was amazing and uh, <clears throat> So, it's still awesome set. I enjoy them. A lot of people don't care for them. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack them open. Cards we're looking for, uh, for not for, like, rarity or expense-wise. Uh, Deep Spawn. It's got some cool artwork. Um, High Tide. Uh, let's see what's another one. Is this still blurry? I noticed in some of my other videos... But some of them are kind of blurry. I tried switching the lighting and I switched the angle and it still seems like it might be blurry. So we have Title Flats, Pharrell Zilla, Thalid. A lot of these have different artworks um, for Elvish Hunter, Order of the Bird, Draconic, Young Lives, and Orcish Captain. Um, some of them have different uh, artworks for the same same card and uh, I just it's I like this set eight cards per pack and uh, there's no rarity uh, on them it's like the silver for uncommon and the gold for maybe if I go further away the gold for a rare so we have Vodalian soldiers elven fortress high tide so high tide, that's that's a good card for this set. Like I said, there's there's not exactly amazing cards in this set, but for uh, him him Torak is another one. For um, art purposes, this was a awesome set. Actually, one of my favorites. I forgot to check for like off center and such, because I know that set. I've seen personally where some of them have had off center or some have like the a different back from it was a different when wizards was printing a different uh run of cards i can't remember what what uh the card game was called it was like wildvin or something i can't remember orcish veteran moonshine oh the priest silence chance so far i have not seen any of my favorite cards I'm going to get more of these. I usually get a box or two here and there just because they're fun to open. It's it's just broad brass claw orcs. All right, so here's a perfect example. So, brass claw orcs. Well, let's see. They're kind of blurry. So, you got your brass claw orcs. And, oh, look. Brass claw orcs. Same card, different artwork. This set was, they just did that. Night soil. And then I guess it got uh, too confusing. Oh, there's a good card. One of the better, one of the best cards out actually out of the set. I'll put that aside and it'll go to a penny sleeve and then to a top loader just because it is vintage and might not be the greatest card or the most valuable card, but I do keep them. I have, I don't know, that might be number five or six of Near Mint. Fresh pack pulled. I don't do these packs very often just because they're fun and uh, night soil, basil soil, dwarven soldier, and sea singer. So, cool set. Nothing of value, obviously, but uh, yeah. So, if you liked the video, hopefully it was a little clearer this time. I don't know if it was. 
Um, please subscribe. Uh, if you hated it, please let me know how much you hated it. That's fine too. Comment, subscribe, enjoy. See ya.